ERB sports fans and baseball card fans out there everywhere. Yes, I am back with another video. I know it has been almost a month. I'm still around. I'm still watching content. Just trying to contemplate, honestly, where to take the direction of this channel. But we're going to open up a box of platinum while we talk about that. Show you guys a few of the recent pickups and talk about the Indy 500. I know, you're here for baseball cards, but we're going to talk about the Indy 500, so let's get into it. But before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and rip this box. I got this off the Fanatics website. I know the evil Fanatics, I know I shouldn't have done so, but I had a $100 credit to use that I got for $70 that I got at BJ's, and so I figured it was burning a hole in my pocket. I had some fan cash to use to so all in. Got this box for a whopping $25. I guess you'd say I got it for a hundred bucks, but whatever. It's the one and only Platinum Anniversary. These seem pretty fun. Seemed like a good idea for the channel. You're not gonna break the bank with this. You're not gonna get rich with this, but there's still some cool cards you can get out of here. So let's go ahead and get into it. Usually from what I've seen, you get about six to seven hits per box. I ran the numbers. I was going to do an odds video, but honestly, I just didn't really want to because I don't know how many people are going crazy for this product right now. That looks like either a rose gold or a refractor right off the rip. Maybe it's like a weird color. Drew Maggie, Goldie, uh, George Brett. My, my fingers are going to leave. Zach Grinky. Is that a, that's not a hit. Nah, not a hit. Just a refractor. Well, nah, we'll just leave it up anyway. Oh, wait, shoot, it is a hit. It's 68 out of 75 on the Zat Granky. That is a rose gold, I think. Unless those are numbered out of 15. That did not that did not seem like it was a thicker card stock, so that's weird. I hope that's not a new precedent. I know that the hit, hits and tops products are usually thicker card stock. Very easy to gem up. And that one seemed a little bowed, which is weird, but whatever. Like I said, I'm not buying many products these days. He had another hit. This one looks like a gold, probably. That might be a true gold. Ryan Nelson. Jorge Soler. Aparicio. The, I don't know where to go with it. I mean, it could be, that's a really old Cardinal. That is nine out of 50. And it's a Hall of Famer, Bob Gibson, maybe? Not bad. There's probably a collector base for Bob Gibson. That one looks like it could be thicker cardstock. I don't really know. Been a while since I opened some Topps products, but two packs in where we got two hits right off the bat, and both of them are numbered under 100. But it's Zach Grinke and Bob Gibson. Not the guys you're usually looking for. QC on this looks pretty solid. So, yeah. If we keep getting hit and hit and hit, maybe we got a hot box, but I doubt it. But let me know what you guys are buying out there. I mean, I wasn't going to buy this product at first, but I was sitting at my desk the other day at work uh, here at home, and I ended up buying into a break with my Fanatics credit and said, why not? I hit some really good A's cards. Uh, bought the A's for 25 bucks, managed to hit three cards numbered to 25 or less. Two of them were a Mason Miller, and uh, people are saying he's pretty good. You might want to hang on to that one. Do we get our auto right here? Nope, maybe not. It is a green. I thought greens were exclusive to retail. We got Bo Naylor. That is a rookie, I think. Yep. I sent one of him into PSA to grade. Austin Hedges on the back, Duke Snyder. And that is Yankee Colors, I think. That is a vet numbered to 99, Yogi Berra. It's like deja vu all over again. I got him in last year in this product in retail. Probably numbered to 99. I think it was a blue. I was going to buy retail of this product, but I was only going to buy it if it was on Card Giants. And I didn't see it yet, so... I really don't know if they're going to have it. They had the Bowman Mega Box cases the other day, and they wanted $45 a, a box for a case of 20, so about 900 bucks all in. And I said, no way. And uh, yeah, so 
there we go. Chris, or Christian Pache, remember him? He was hot for a minute. But this product is good in the sense you get a lot of hits, but they really are hard to come by and they are, it seems more of a collector's product, like collecting the set, collecting your favorite player. Um, and that's the way it's designed. It's not designed to be an investable product. You're not going to make a ton of money on this product. You probably won't lose a ton of money on this product either. So Pete Alonzo and Steel Walker. What a name, Steel Walker. But yeah, let me know what you guys are buying out there. I've been buying nothing except this. Uh, I haven't bought any retail except for a couple of select uh, mega boxes that Mrs. ERB Sports opened up off camera. And we had a couple Wemby's, but nothing crazy. Dontrell Willis. We got a couple PSA orders coming back, so stay tuned for those. Kenley Jansen and Eddie Matthews for the Milwaukee Braves. Who do you give that to when it comes to a break? Do you give that to the Braves spot or the Milwaukee spot? I mean, technically it's Milwaukee, but I don't know. Do you give that to the Brewers or do you give that to the Braves? Maybe I should know the answer to that question, but just sort of a rhetorical question. But in that break, I, I managed to, like I said, pit, hit uh, several cards numbered to 25. It was Mason Miller times two plus Catfish Hunter and a Beer, Barry Zito Auto. So I did pretty good on those. I was really happy with that. Next, we got a Manny Machado. Is that just a regular refractor? The numbering would be on the bottom, and that is just a regular refractor. So for about a third of the way through the box, we have three hits. We're going to get probably, I want to say, like I said, six or seven give or take, including the auto. Jesse Winker. I ran the numbers just to kind of give you guys a context. Maybe I'll make a short of this, but from what I understand from the odds, it looks like per blaster box, you're going to get about 1.7 hits per box, and you're going to get about 10 autos per case. They really increased the number of autos, but they didn't necessarily increase. Uh, they increased the checklist. That's that's really how they did it. Um, got, uh, was Waldo Cabrera a rookie refractor? Yankee, that's a good one. Volpe would have been better. But so out of the blasters, you get a case of blasters. You're probably going to get about 60 hits, 60 to 70 hits like you did last year. And you're going to get probably 9 to 12 autos maybe. Call it 10 right in the middle. But again, I think it's going to be a fun product. It won't break the bank. You'll be able to complete some sets hopefully and maybe make your money back. You just never know. Tyler Stevenson. Ramon Laureano, and whatever that guy's name is. Okay, we're about maybe halfway through the box so far. Meh. Whoops, whoops, hang on. Cord, cord, cord overboard. <laughs> Almost uh, knocked my lights over. Uh, Reyes, Pablo Lopez, uh, Jack Morris. Is he still alive? That would have been a decent auto. I, you know, I probably should go back and look to see if I did, didn't pull an auto. I'm assuming they're on thicker cardstock, but the auto would be blue instead of that facsimile black. So unless I missed it, let me just take a quick glance. I don't think I missed it, but maybe I did. I don't know. Nope. 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 And no, definitely didn't hit the auto yet. All right, unless it's on the board and I missed it. Like I said, could have missed it. I've seen a lot of trash bag autos. I've seen some decent ones. I saw in the case breaks that I was watching, I think there might've been a trout auto, uh, vol or no, it was um, Derek Jeter was picked uh, out of that case. It was pretty solid. Uh, DeBerry Zito was the one I got. So it was pretty solid as well. And you get a lot of trash bag autos. Maybe not pitchers, but just sort of trash bag rookie hitters. Guys that are destined to never really be in the major leagues. Um, you get, what do you expect for a 500-card checklist? That's kind of what you're going to get. we got a speckle here. 
I would not have been as sour on the case that I got last year had the speckle that I hit been somebody different than Wander Franco, or if it would have been Wander Franco a month or two earlier, I would have been pretty so stoked about that. But we've got Braves. That could be that could be Hank Aaron. Nope. <laughs> Rangers. I thought it was Braves. That is Nathaniel Lowe. Nate Lowe, I suppose. Okay. I'm going to have to save my sleeves because I'm down to my last hard sleeve. And I don't have my auto yet. I got five hits on the board. And so far, much like people have seen, you get a decent amount of hits, but none of them really matter. Um, you're going to get these Topps Logo Fractor ones. They're pretty cool. We got com one coming up right here. Orioles, Mateo. <sighs> like, you're hoping for uh, Gunner, Adley, um, Corbin Carroll. That one's out of $4.99, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I'm not going to plan on getting a really good auto because I just used up my last sleeve. And I got, I don't know, nine or so packs left. We got six hits on the board, but none of them are rookies. And two or three of them are Hall of... I don't know, two of them are Hall of Famers. I don't know if Zach Grinke's destined for the Hall of Fame someday or not. Speaking of Hall of Famers, we got Vlad Jr. Vlad Sr., sorry. We got a Twal here. I think these are... Yeah, that could be good. Maybe that'll be a... That's six hits, seven hits. Wow, you get a lot of hits. Yeah. Willie Mays, we got for team. Dodgers, Gavin Stone, come on. 73 of 75, ugh. He's a rookie at least, but a pitcher. I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, seven hits in a box, pretty solid. But <laughs> that's uh, it's kind of rough. Kind of rough when all you get is... Um, just nobody's Ruiz Tim Anderson Xander Bogart's having a terrible season and Kyle Stowers a rookie no auto yet I don't think unless I missed it like I said I could have missed it we got Ozzy Smith on the back the wizard we got nothing thick in this one I don't think got a refractor ooh Otani on the front any Otani's a good Otani these days Cody Bellinger, Eddie Murray. Wow. Ouch. Wouldn't mind an Eddie Murray autograph. I think that would be pretty solid. Let's we'll leave up the Otani. We got six or seven to go. Seven packs to go. We'll put the empty packs in the box. Seven packs to go. Seven hits in 17 packs. Pretty solid. But we don't have an auto yet. I don't think. Alec Thomas, he was hot for a minute. Patrick Bailey, sold a really nice car to his a couple of months ago. Solid player. They finally traded um, Joey Bart to the Phillies, which I thought was interesting. He's finally, or no, Pirates. Uh, it was a team from Pennsylvania, that's right. And he's finally getting some playing time, so good for him to get out of that organization. Um, just didn't work out. But hopefully he does well for his new team. Got a really thick card here. It is a blue. Uh, that's her auto. Let's save the auto. I know. You guys are going to hate me. Let's save the auto. I think that's the auto. The blue prism auto. That one's probably going to be numbered, I believe. Burleson. That is a rookie. Teoscar Hernandez. Mark Teixeira. Not to be confused with Mark what do the guys say? To, to, I can't even pronounce it. Teixeira. It's Teixeira. The guy that I think was a breaker did not know how to pronounce Teixeira. Or maybe it was Up North Collectors. I don't, I don't remember. It was like Mark Teixeira or something like that. It was really weird. It's Mark Teixeira. hate to rain on anybody's parade, but it is Mark Teixeira. We got Scooball. He's had a great year. I got some really good Scooball cards. I wish he wasn't a pitcher. I would grade them because he's having a great season, but, you know, uh, you never know. Maybe he wins the Cy Young, ends up in the Hall of Fame someday, and 
you'll want to have those cards. I got a green number to 99 and a Walgreens yellow. So pretty happy with those. Braden Shoemake, Nolan Arenado, and Cor Corey Lee. So it said Corby Lee. Corey Lee, we're still waiting on our auto. We do think we have it as a blue prism. Should be numbered, but again, could be total trash bags. Could be great. Dalton Varsho, Manuel Margot, Tyler Glass now. <laughs> John Smoltz. We're down to last pack mojo here besides the auto. So far, eh, I don't think I'm going to buy a lot of this product. I like the number of hits, but you get one X Factor per box. There's Teixeira again when he was not on the Yankees or Orioles or whatever other team was there. This is when he was on the Rangers. Mateo, we got Bouchard on the back and Starling Marte. Wow. They make it really hard in this 500 card checklist to pull anybody good. They make it extremely hard. Um, and that's just where we're headed with the Fanatics. You got 500 card checklist and it's going to be rough. We got Michael Harris on the back. That was a rookie. Pretty solid hit pull there. Wouldn't mind a Michael Harris, Derek Jeter. Wouldn't mind a Derek Jeter card. Kodai Senga there. Why couldn't that be the next card? Oh. Top certified autograph. It is a chrome auto. It is a rookie out of 99. That could be good. Who is that? Freddie. What? Who? I don't even know who that is. Well, Freddie, I don't know much about you, but uh, you got a nice auto. And that's a really look, really sweet looking card out of 99. That's 71 out of 99 on the Freddie Tarnock. Rookie pitcher auto. Of course, it's a pitcher. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this box of Platinum Anniversary, the one and only box that I'm going to buy. How do we do? We did okay, I think. We got some decent stuff, but, eh. you know, you can't win them all. All right, let's go over the hits. As the cat is going crazy behind me, we got Oswaldo Cabrera on the refractor. Jorge Mateo out of 99 logo fractor. Nate Lowe on the Rangers out of 490 or out of 150. Yogi Berra out of 99. Uh, Gavin Stone rookie pitcher out of 75. Zach Granke out of 75. A Starling Marte. A Bob Gibson out of 50. Nine out of 50. And a Freddie Tarnock. To go with my A's pulls from the break the other day. Rookie auto out of 99. So that's going to do it for this one. But we got bonus content. What have I been doing lately, guys? If you're willing to stick around to the end, promise it'll be worth it. We'll talk about the Indy 500 in a separate video. But the other day, I got my Indy car cards that I've been waiting for for Barber. These are the pl uh, Pronto Packs. Got a Scott McLaughlin parallel out of 10. Six out of 10. That's pretty good. Another Scott McLaughlin. He won that race. Dominated. Although it was anybody's guess right in the middle of the race. But he kind of dominated. Another Scott McLaughlin. He was on the pole. Barber uh, podium card with McLaughlin, Power, and Lundquist, who was really a surprise. Lundquist was the hard charger award, the biggest mover during the race. And then we got Lucas Giotto. On a Luca Giotto from... Car number 51 for the Dale Coin Racing. He had a rookie debut in that particular one. But the funniest card of all, and I wish I could get the one of one, was the Georgina card. Now, for those who don't know about Barber Race, Georgina was the mannequin that was hanging from the bridge over on the backstretch. And during the race, unfortunately, she fell down on the grass and her arms were sticking out on the track and... She lost an arm, an arm that's not in the picture. She lost an arm, a finger, whatever, a, a hand. But Georgina was featured with Scott McLaughlin, oddly, at the post-race interview or whatever. But I've been told Georgina is back safe and sound on the bridge as she was, secured better than ever and never to fall again. But that was quite 
the funny moment during the barber race. Go check the YouTube feed out on that one. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more content, as always. Enjoy your rips. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy the national, whatever you're doing this summer. I've got a graduation to go to this coming weekend, and my son is going to college soon. So thanks again, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.